Elena Danilovskina. Over to Evgena Belyakova. Pass out top. Stolen away by Tafer. Go to the other end. And able to finish off the play. While I was growing up, one of the biggest things we did in my household was watch the NBA Finals every year on TV. I remember one year my brother was playing and my sister was dancing and my parents kind of said you have to choose one or the other and I chose basketball. Tamara Tatum has played a major role in the success of Canada's women's basketball program. She had an impressive international playing career that included 164 games representing Canada and 157 games at the senior level beginning in 2007. That includes winning five medals, including two gold medals, at the 2015 FIBA Americas Qualifying Tournament and the 2015 Pan Am Games. At the FIBA Americas, she was named to the All-Star Five team. Tatum played in two Olympics, 2012 and 2016. At Rio in 2016, she averaged 25.1 minutes with 9.8 points and 5.3 rebounds per game. That including scoring 20 points against China. Canada finished seventh. At the 2012 London Games, she helped Canada reach the quarterfinals, finishing in 8th place. She played twice at World Championships, with Canada finishing 14th in 2010 and 5th in 2014. Making the national team was probably my biggest memorable moment of basketball ever. And I ended up playing on the team for 10 years, going to two Olympic Games, going to two World Championships and a bunch of FIBA Americas. Um, that was surreal for me. Her professional career from 2008 to 2017 included stops in Finland, Germany, Slovakia, Australia, and Russia. Each season, she averaged double figures in scoring. In Halle, Germany in 2011-2012, she averaged 20.1 points and 10 rebounds. The following season, she played 36.3 minutes per game with 18.4 points 10.9 rebounds and 2.5 assists, leading her team to a second place finish. In 2014-2015 in Slovakia, she was named Player of the Year, Import Player of the Year, Forward of the Year, and was selected to the first All-Import team. Her career in Germany included twice being named Import Player of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year, First Team All-Star, and to the All-Import team. In 2011-2012, she won Forward of the Year, while in 2008-2009, she was center of the year. She played high school basketball at Chincuzi Secondary School, where she was the team MVP and helped her team qualify for the Ontario Federation of School Athletic Association Provincial Championship Tournament. She earned a basketball scholarship to UMass in Amherst, Massachusetts, graduating in 2007, starting all but three of 115 games in her four-year career. After playing for so long, one of my biggest challenges was transitioning out of sport. For so long, you always think sport is your entire life, that's your entire identity, and I had to start figuring out what was next, and I didn't know because I felt like I was just a basketball player. After retiring as a player, she turned to coaching, serving as a junior coach with the Raptors 905 of the NBA G League for the 2018-2019 season. She became lead assistant coach for the University of Toronto women's team in 2017 and was named head coach in 2021. Tatum was the assistant coach for Canada's under women 16 team at the 2019 FIBA Americas tournament in Chile as Canada finished 4-1 and earned a silver medal. She has also been an assistant coach with Canada's junior national under 18 team. I would say I came out of being a player not too long after I started coaching. So I was able to connect with them in so many different ways. Um, and I think that was one of the things that really got me to be the very good leader that I am today. I would say I'm a great leader. I hope my, my girls would say I am too. <laughs> in 2021, she was named to Canada Basketball Unified 2024 Advisory Council to examine policies on equity, diversity, and inclusion. But I'm learning, I'm still growing. That competitive fire that I've always had as an athlete, I still have as a coach. And so that's, I guess, that's how I continue my love and my passion uh, for sports.